welcome to the episode today. Uh, today we're going to be shooting the airplane scenes for this, mo for this movie. We're actually just filming airplane scenes on the ground uh, to make it easier so it's not to, so we'll add in all the special effects and stuff. Okay, we're shooting the, there, there. You know, preaching the gospel. What's up? Packing? Yeah, I figure for the shoot, I'm gonna have to have the rig on anyway, so I gotta have it packed up. Yeah. We're already rolling, so whenever you go, whenever you want to go. Alright, so here's the setup. We got all the gear. We're actually using this. That's where you guys were. You come up into the plane. Oh god. <sighs> GoPro running BTS. This is a skydiving plane. This is the plane I actually jump from. Uh skydiving space center. Thanks so much for letting us use it. This is what a skydiving plane looks like. Nothing uh nothing too nice, even even a cockpit. So, uh, we're using this as like a military-esque plane, and we're like moving, it looks weird in real life, but we're like moving to get the effect of that the plane's in the air, we're blowing out this, we're shooting the red, and like there's this mode, you can overexpose one and underexpose the other, and when you combine it, anyways. Boom. And here comes Brent. And this guy, I'm getting ready to do the jump. I'm gonna have you yell, turn around and yell back. You want him, do you want it when you're filming with the red from inside? Some help. Probably cost as much as the plane right now. Thank uh, you, thanks, man. No Appreciate you, man. Oh. Well, uh, we finished the shot. Looks good. Felt good. Holding the red like a baby. All right, so the work day is done. Uh, Cole and I are just hanging out. And going we're, down memory lane. We're going, down, going through the early and mid 2000s. Do you guys remember Hit Clips? Hit it! Coming at you right between the ears is Hit Clips. Music to get you grooving. Hit Clips is a slick micro audio system. This type package is small, it pumps out monster sound. It breaks down like this we clip, 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 and sample songs so only the grooves stick. Be Plus, with the micro boombox, load the mother load. Some of these songs available now. More this fall, you can collect them all. Hit clips, each sold separately. You, you, do you guys remember? You don't, because you're probably too young. But do you remember that? Do you remember those? Somewhat, sadly. Like, look, you you would put this on your. Like backpack to school, and you would have these like SD card looking things, and you could put it in and literally listen to like one song at it. Like, that's probably an album. <laughs> like, just single upon single. Yeah. Oh, my. My sisters had these, and they were done with it, and my brother and I had them. And the, yeah, like, look at the SD card things. Bro, in sync. In fucking sync is so. Like, that's some memory shit right there, bro. Alright, it's your turn to share. Alright, so, my parents kept me in the 2000s for as long as they could. And I remember explicitly my mother playing 
four or five songs on repeat. And the first song I memorized word for word was London Bridge by Fergie. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. My mother played this for a four to eight year old boy. <laughs> You probably don't even know this song because they're too young, dude. <laughs> like, from the early. Do you do you want to hear the second song I learned? I would love to. Switching over to your Wi-Fi. There it is. Yeah. My mother. My Christian the mother. Memories with this song. My Christian no. mother. That's probably like an 808 too. Baptist. Christian mother. But you keep See what you go Bro, What do you think that is? An 808? Most likely. With a synth string. <laughs> Not even, bro. It's probably like the the standard one on some Yamaha keyboard they had lying around in the studio. So if so, like if you're was born in the early 2000, any if you're born in the mid 2000s, this doesn't count. But what are your 2000s memories? Were they cool? And what were the? You're valid. You just don't matter. Sadly, <laughs> I mean matter in this. You mat like you ma You matter. It's just not what just, we're looking for. Just don't start calling just, them nine-year-old, because that's yeah. Cutie's thing. Is that? Uh huh. He calls his fans nine-year-olds. Well, that's probably about his demographic. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Share down below with like the best thing that happened to you in the early two thousands. Okay. See you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs>